She's a force. Top I, notch. She's yeah. incredibly professional, on time, capable of multitasking and wearing several hats, and yet making herself incredibly available to every cast and crew member. I mean, she really is an awesome leader. She was so welcoming, it didn't feel like we were stepping into her world. It just felt like we were all on this ride together, mm -hmm. you know, and that's a testament to her ability to be a great executive producer. So not only was she a great executive producer, apparently she was also the party starter. Throughout the whole thing, Margo was just so amazing. You're like a full-on cowboy reeling us <laughs> into the fun. <laughs> like, a lassoing you, like, lassoing oh, you. Yeah, like, <laughs> but like, full-on, like, like, into the fun and into the, like, my face head first into the cereal. While Margot is rounding up the fun on set, her character is rounding up a group of seriously fiery women. Each of the characters are badass and unique in their own way, and we ask them who out of the group is most like their character. Maybe Journey? I think so too. Because she, she just has this innate power. It's something I wanted Harley to identify in, in Black Canary without knowing that she's a metahuman. I think Harley could sense that she's like this powerhouse and I'm um, kind of fascinated by her, by that. And Journey's like that. I mean, she's incredibly, you know, she's got a big heart. She feels deep, but she has like huge power. I, I yeah, kind of have a girl crush on her. Yeah. I always say Journey, because Journey, because Black uh, yes. Canary is the most, she is like a real down-to-earth woman with heart who's strong and vulnerable, and she's basically like the most aspirational character.